So you want to get a DevOps job, but you don't have DevOps skills, and you can't get DevOps skills because you don't have a DevOps job, right? Hey, what's up? I'm Will from DevOps for Developers, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I solved that problem to land my first DevOps job. So if you're in the same situation I was, I had a full-time job, but I needed to get the skills to go to the next stage of my career and I wasn't getting them at my current job. So I was looking for a way to add those skills without impacting my job because I kind of needed it to pay the bills, right? So what I did was I found people who were looking for the type of work that was building the skills that I needed and worked on that outside of my normal working hours. And since we're talking about DevOps here, you're looking for people who are looking for DevOps type work, right? And you can look for friends, family members, people in your community, people in your social network, all kinds of different things like that for people who can use the skills that you're trying to build. Now, what I want to tell you not to do though is to go like on Reddit and search DevOps forums or go to Facebook and look for DevOps stuff because the kind of people you're targeting at this stage don't actually know that they have DevOps problems, right? Which is perfect because then you're gonna present the solution that they didn't even know they were looking for. What you're looking for are people who are just starting their startup, you know, entrepreneurs, startup founders, or people who are running small businesses and listen for them to say things like, dang man, my website's down and the dude who built it for me isn't answering my phone calls or evidently our database server is down and I don't even know what that means. Now when you find these people you want to start up a conversation with them and try to help them out. You want to just help them out. You're not trying to sell them your services or ask them for work at this point. Just say, oh hey, you know, have you tried restarting the server or whatever the scenario might be but just offer them genuine advice to see if you can help get them up and running. Because what you're trying to do here is just help get them back up online. And then once you are successful at doing that, you've got an established relationship with them, right? You can say, hey, you know, this is actually what I do for a living. If you have a problem like this in the future, um, go ahead and hit me up. Or if you want to talk about hardening your system so that this kind of thing doesn't happen again, let me know and we can make something happen and then give them your contact info. And so now you've established credibility with that person and you've helped give them something for free. You got their business back up and running. You also at this point want to ask them for referrals. Say, hey, this is what I do for a living. If you know anyone else who has problems like this or you think would be able to benefit from the type of work I would do, I'd appreciate any referrals from you. Okay, so now you found somebody who was looking for your skills, you helped them out for free, and you've expanded your network by asking them for referrals, which I get all of that sounds kind of salesy. And I used to think that being in sales was really, really sleazy. But to be honest, it's not. Because through that whole process, you never did anything that was sleazy or immoral or anything. You just tried to help them out. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's how you build your career, right? So now that you've done that, you started growing your network, you need to create, right? So that's the step number two is create. You wanna document what you just did. That can be through creating a blog post, creating a Twitter thread, creating a YouTube video, whatever social media format you're happy with, go ahead and create that and say, hey, this person had this problem, and here's how I helped them out. Now you're starting to build credibility. Now when you're not doing things like that, you're also gonna be working to build and improve your own DevOps skills, right? So you're gonna be learning new things. And it's really, really important that you document that learning process. And a lot of people, myself included, think that as a beginner, you really don't have any place to be creating how-to content. And I can tell you now, that there's absolutely nothing further from the truth. Because whenever a beginner and an expert approach the same topic to learn it, they look at it through different sets of eyes, right? Things that make sense to an, ex an expert based on their previous experience are brand new and incomprehensible to someone who's brand new. 
So you want to document that, hey, I learned how to do this and here's what I started doing, here's where I got stuck and couldn't figure it out and it's because I wasn't understanding this part and then once I understood that, this whole thing fell into place and document that. And again, going to put it in the same forum or the same format and medium that you did with your customer success stories, whether that's LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, a blog post, whatever it is, just to get that out there. And then by getting it out there, you're putting it in front of more eyes, which is gonna introduce more people to the type of work that you do and bring you more opportunities. It's called luck surface area, right? Because a lot of people think that you get lucky and there's this theory called luck surface area that by increasing the surface area or the number of people you interact with, you actually increase the odds or the ratio of your ability to get lucky. And so the final step is gonna to be to share what you're doing. Share the posts that you've created or the videos that you've created, the customer success stories that you've got. And this is where you're gonna start going into the DevOps style forums and posting DevOps related content in those to share that with other people. And so you're gonna be hitting all of these different areas. You're gonna be hitting potential clients who want to hire you for skills. You're gonna be reaching potential new people who are learning the same skills that you are and you're gonna be reaching people who do DevOps for a living, showing them what you're, what you're capable of and what you're learning. And through all of those, you're gonna not only bring in more people who want to hire you for side jobs, but you're also eventually gonna stumble across someone or someone's gonna stumble across your content who's looking to hire someone full time. They're gonna go, whoa, check this person out. They're doing the things that we need to be doing. I wonder if they'd be interested in doing it full time. They're gonna reach out to you. That's gonna start a whole conversation that may end up being your first DevOps job. So I hope that was helpful. Let's recap it. You're gonna find people who have the problems that you can solve. You're gonna solve those problems for them, build your network as a result, document that process, document your learning experience, improve your network, share what you've learned, and eventually that's gonna to lead to success and the results that you want. If you have any thoughts in that, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Or if you wanna talk about it in more detail, join me in my Discord server and I'll drop a link for that in the description down below. So that's all I got for you. I'll see y'all in the next video.